How's it going, everyone? That's right. I'm your coach, Trainer Connor, and I am here for week four of the Indigo League of Legends. The San Francisco Swampers last week suffered their first loss of the season. Season two, that is. And that was against the Boston Bear Kick or the U Turn Crowbat. That was not a good battle. <laughs> Honestly, I have to say that. But if you have not seen that, or if you want to watch it again, I don't really care. It's in my playlist for the ILL, Indigo League of Legends. So this week, guys, we're facing a very tough opponent. If you have not guessed, we're facing Necro Stevo, or the Venus Venusaurus. I'm really looking forward to this Wi-Fi battle, because not only did we battle me and Necro, we haven't battled in like forever, but like, we've, we've been battling for like, a generation, we've been battling since Pokemon Black and White, Black and White 2, the sequel to Pokemon Black and White, X and Y, which was the beginning of 6th generation, and then Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. We're going to be battling a lot more now because of the week 4 match. Obviously, can't you tell? And, um, so yeah, we've been battling a lot, so awesome! And this battle is really huge. This week, guys, is huge for everyone. But in this battle in particular, since we're epic rivals and all that, this could just expand the rivalry that we're having. If you don't get that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, really? You... <sighs> we're just epic rivals, that's all. And sorry if I, you know, said you suck, but you know, I suck. No, no big deal, no big deal. Anyway, so, ugh, okay. So we're here for the analysis. We're going to take this one step at a time. We're going to analyze... Anal how do you say that word? We're going to analyze, there we go. Analyze every Pokemon that my opponent has. For my line, for my line up here, uh, it's still the same with all the uh, shenanigans of Talonflame, Mega Gengar, Kieran Black, Ferrothorn, Ditto, Meowth Shao. You get the idea, right? Gastagon, Umbreon, Behem, Avalug, Wigglytuff, and F Flygon. Yeah, everything is still the same. Um, actually, Isaiah or uh, Minnesota Munchlax, whom I will be facing eventually, he wanted my Talonflame. And I'm like, well, it's pretty funny because I, I'm like, you know what, if you want my Talonflame, you're going to have to trade me another Talonflame. Because Talonflame has been really useful as of late. Not in my last video, but like, seriously, it's a great Pokemon. Why would I give it away? So yes, everything is still the same. We're going to hopefully get a victory through here. With the Pokemon I have. So the Venus Venusaurs, we are going to be facing some very powerful Pokemon, like over half of my opponent's Pokemon can go Mega, which is not a good sign, of course, one can go Mega per battle. So. He has a Scizor, Manectric, Lachios, Blaziken, Whimsicott, Espeon, Heliolisk, Drapion, Glalie, Ambi Palm, Spirit Tomb, and Swellow. So his Mega Pick or his Uber Pick, yeah, Uber Pick. There we go. Blaziken. That's his Uber Pick because Blaziken has access to like Speed Boost and it's really powerful. It's already fast. It has access to like Sword Stance. You can go Mega, or you can just slap on a Focus Sash, so that way you can survive a hit, no matter what, outside of, like, entry hazards. And, yeah, that's why it's an Uber, first of all, and it can go Mega, which is like, well, yeah, that's a, a threat. But, of course, I have Gastagon, so there's no issue on that. In addition to that, he has a Mega Lachios available to him for Necrocebo. And Mega Lachios is like really good. It's really good offensively. It can be defensive as well. It has access to like Defog. It has access to like Thunder Wave. It has access to 
Draco Meteor, Psychic, and Shadow Ball, so you can go offensive or defensive or go mist. My next trick, Going Mega, can get off the Antigone ability. Um, I have a lot of physical attackers, but like, seriously, I can just mix it up a little bit, you know? I can bring physically based Pokemon and just use special sets, or just do something like that to bypass the Antigone ability. And my next trick is pretty fast, it can go for full switch and get switching initiative. Not really fun, but it is fun when you use it. He has Mega Scizor. I'm not too bothered by Mega Scizor. Why would I want to go with that? Of course, yeah, he has access to Bullet Punch, which is a priority move. Priority move. And, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Nothing really doesn't get bothered by Bullet Punch outside of Wigglytuff and Avalug, whom I have, and to a lesser extent Mega Gengar and Town Flame, because they're not really they're, they're not really physically bulky, but of course I have Ferrothorn and Billo to transform into, you know, all that aside. So, Scizor, not much of an issue. Last week when Necro faced Isaiah, he used a Mega Glalie, and that thing is really powerful. Cannot underestimate or overestimate Glalie. I think underestimate is a better word. But yeah, Mega Glalie has access to like normal type moves, boosting it by his ability to refrigerate, and ugh, it's just power through the roof, man. And his, I guess, physical attacker, or physically defensive Pokemon, excuse me, are going to probably be like Drapion, Aspion, Whimsicott. Really annoying, they can go with like status conditions, so Bleach, Seed with Whimsicott, and Aspion in particular has the ability Magic Bounce to bounce back. My own status conditions, not really fun. Drapion can, you know, go for knockoffs and go for Sword Stance, set up Toxic Spikes, which, ugh, that is really annoying. I like Drapion too, he's really good. He's, he's Really good, really versatile on that. Ambi Palm is there for fake out and last resort. Fake out ensures that you get flinched on that following turn when you're using fake out. Spiritomb can burn and go with pain split. Not really fun. We're going to hopefully figure out a way to handle Spiritomb because his only weakness is fairy. My only fairy is my wiggly cuff, which I haven't really used that much. And he has Swallow, with ha which has Guts, Guts to boost up your attacking power. Really offensive there. Heliolisk can go with Scarf or Specs. So, yes, really powerful Pokemon. I took my time with that. But, really, just a Mega Pokemon, the, the amount of Megas that Necro has access to, it's really, it's really scary for me. But I think, for his Mega, is going to be Lachios, because Lachios does not really mind, like, half of my Pokemon, but, like, I don't see Blaziken being useful because I have access to, like, Gastrodon and Umbreon and, I guess, Wigglytuff and Flygon, so, I don't know, Blaziken looking like an okay option there, but I don't know, it's just hard to tell, but that check is really good because of Intimate, like I said, and Scizor, nah, I don't think so. But I feel like he's going to bring Mega Lachios, probably Whimsicott or Espeon, Heliolisk, Drapion, maybe Mega Glalie, but I don't see that happening for some reason. He might bring Ami Palm, but why would I, or why would he do that when I have my Mega Gengar and Ferrothorn available? And Spiritomb might be a good choice for him. Swallow for the backup, but of course you can only bring 6 out of the 12 that you pick. I'm thinking Talonflame, Mega Gengar, Ferrothorn, probably Ditto, and then we have my Flygon, and maybe... I don't know if I can bring Wigglytuff or Behem. It's a toss-up there. I might decide on that. But yeah, those are my potential members. Of course, I can always change it. And, uh, let's see. I don't know if Necro made a free agency move. If he did, and I didn't know this, 
upon posting this video, I'll let you guys know in the actual Wi-Fi battle. Um, I think I should post that tomorrow because tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Right. If you're watching this on a different day, whatever. But anyway, so we're here for week four of the ILL. Me versus Neko Stevo. Really important games. Really important games for both of us. It's going to pretty much determine if we're going to be in the playoffs or not. But I hope you guys are ready for an epic battle tomorrow. Be on the lookout for it, and I will see you on the battlefield. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to, and comment down below what you're excited about, like what your choice is the Pokemon that he might be bringing or I might be bringing. Just do whatever you can, you know? And I will see you on the battlefield, like I already said, like a minute ago. Alright, have a great day, trainers. Bye!